No need bread is the perfect bread for beginners. In fact, if my husband who cannot cook or bake anything can make this bread, I feel really confident that you can too. But it isn't just for beginners, it's also for people who are busy who still want fresh baked bread at home. I am Amy from A Red Spatula and I am here to share one of my very favorite recipes with you and it is one that uses ancient grains too. So you're gonna love this recipe. Let's get started and check it out. Okay, this is the only equipment that you're gonna need. The only specialty thing might be a Dutch oven. If you don't have one, I'm gonna link a description to this one because I think it's very inexpensive, but really good. Now I like to bake my bread in the morning, so I'll start the dough at night. And what you do is you just, you have a bowl and you add all of your ingredients to it. You can see I use a blend of bread flour plus my ancient grain flours. And I do this to kind of stabilize the bread. It allows me to use really any kind of flour that I want. But not only that, that's what my family prefers. They like kind of this blend of refined flours with whole grain flours. Now, just as it sounds, you don't need the bread. All you do is you mix it with a spoon and you mix it until all the dry ingredients have come together. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cover this and let it set overnight. Or you can start it in the morning and let it set during the day. My dough sat for um, about 15 hours before I started working with it, and this is what it looks like. Now, one thing to note is that my oven has been preheating and the Dutch oven has been preheating in the oven for about 30 minutes. So my Dutch oven is very hot. I didn't show that because I didn't really know how to do that in the video. And then what you're gonna do is you take your bowl scraper and you turn this risen dough out onto your floured surface. Now you're gonna wanna be really careful here. You don't wanna destroy your air bubbles that you worked so hard to create overnight. So I just gently kind of fold this over four times to where the top of it's gonna be fairly smooth and then I take my bowl scraper and I pull it towards me. That will round out the top. And that's all that you want to do. It shouldn't take more than, you know, 30 seconds or something. Now the bread goes right onto a piece of parchment paper. Now scoring the top is optional, but what it does is it allows for release of that moisture in your bread. If not, it's going to blow out wherever. Usually it's on the side. And so I just take my little lom and I score the top. Now here's my preheated Dutch oven, and just a note, it's very hot. I've burned myself a few times, so be careful when you're opening it up. You're gonna place your bread right down inside of it, and as soon as that's in there, you're gonna put that top right back on. <clears throat> the Dutch oven is so hard, hot that it's gonna start cooking the bread even before it hits the oven. Put it into the oven, let it bake at 485 for 30 minutes, and you take the top off. I'm always excited at this part. Once the top is off, you close it back up, bake it for another 20 minutes at 425, and it's done and perfectly golden brown. Now once it's cool enough, this is still pretty hot, my fingers are burning here, you're gonna peel back the parchment on that and then uh, set it on a cooling rack. You can, you're gonna wanna make sure you let this sit for at least an hour to two hours before you cut into it. That'll give the starches time to set. And then here's what it looks like, perfectly beautiful bread.